All right, hey everyone, we are going to work on staff awards this week. And what we wanna do is um, instead of giving you a bunch of workshop, uh, worksheets, not workshops, but worksheets and things like that for note reading, we thought it would be fun to do the st staff awards so we can do some um, you know, spaceship games and stuff like that. So we thought this would be a lot more fun. We do plan on doing um, kind of a tournament kind of thing so that um, you can post your high scores. Um, you're gonna be putting a screenshot out there as proof of your high score. And um, then we'll try to do some sort of like public, um, like this, these students are our top 10 in this class or something like that. So we wanna make it fun, but we wanna keep you really strong on your note reading so that you, when you come back, you're gonna just be that much more successful. Plus when you're working at home, you'll be more successful on your own, even when you're playing your instrument because you're remembering your notes. So, um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. I know some of you have already logged in and had no issue at all. But for, I have heard from a few students that they're having some problems. So this is a free program. If you do it online on the computer, there is a, an app that you can also download on your phone. I think it's like 99 cents or something, but that is not necessary. You can definitely do it on a computer. And if you have your school computer, it should be no problem at all to get it downloaded there. Um, I'm gonna go to, let's see here. Let me screen share real quick. Let's see if I'm doing this. All right. All right, cool. So I think I'm over here. Um, I'm going to show you where um, uh, Staff Wars is. So go to your Google tab, um, Staff Wars download. You can do that. It'll find it, Staff Wars download. Then you go to downloads. It's The music site is called the Music Interactive. So when you get there, you're going to find that there are lots of different games and fun things that you just might want to play with later. But for now, we're going to focus on Staff Wars. And you're going to find that right here. Um, you'll see that there are two versions. We are not going to do the live version right now. I, um, that one is fun because when you play your instrument, like it shows you a note, and then you have to play it, and then the computer identifies it. But if your speaker is not really great or your microphone is not great, it may not pick you up real well. So we're gonna go with this one where you're just typing in the notes. Um, this icon is for if you have an Apple computer, this one is if you have a PC computer. So I'm gonna click that. Then ignore that because that's just an ad. You're gonna go down to the bottom of the screen, your zip file should come up. I'm gonna double click on Staff Wars. I'm gonna do extract all. And then this screen came up. I have dual screens here. So this came up, um, I'm gonna say extract. Put it into whatever folder that end up in and then you can double click again, staff wars. Oh, it came up on this other screen. Let me slide this over. Um, then you're gonna do run now. And the game should come up. It might take a second to download it, but it'll look like this when you have it. Got some outer space music. I'm going to turn the sound off so I can continue talking to you for a minute. Um, when you look here, you're going to select the correct clef for your instrument. So um, we have treble clef here. The next one over is if you're a piano player because you know both treble and bass clef. And then when you um, do, this is alto clef, of course, for our violas, and then bass clef for our cello and bass players. Um, and the one thing I want to make sure that you do before you play every single time, you're going to click where it says range. You're going to bring it on in a little bit. So it's on the first leisure line of each, like one leisure line below and one leisure line above the staff. So this is the range of notes that you guys know pretty well now. Um, violas know a couple of notes above that. Um, cellos actually know, uh, you don't know your low C yet, but this should get everybody in the right spot. Um, what I would recommend that you also do is, um, we're gonna have some uh, reference sheets in our Google Classroom. If you don't remember the names of your lines and spaces, you might wanna look at your reference sheet. Um, it's also an easy, easy thing to Google. Um, you know, your every good boy does fine or good burritos don't fall apart or, you know, our lines and spaces, like lines and spaces, good burritos don't fall apart. 
and that's for our cello and bass players, right? Um, for our violin players, the spaces, F-A-C-E spells the word face. So we'll put that in our Google Classroom just to remind you. Um, let me show you when you play the game. You get the game going, start. Here's the alto clef. So this note is, you know, you got to know your lines above the staff. So that should be a B. All right. And then you play the game. And the little space guy going to shoot the notes. And it'll go faster and faster. Of course, if you have the music on, it's got the cool space music and stuff. So um, once you're done and you've used up all your three lives, um, you're going to take a screenshot and you can do that with um, just using the press, you know, print screen here. Then you can save that screenshot as your, um, your picture, as your proof of your score. And then um, go, you're going to save it and then upload that into your Google Doc. Um, we may have, um, we might also, hold on one second. Let me stop that for a minute. We might also have a little, um, uh, like a Google form where you type in your name and your high score so that we've got it all in one place and then we can go back and double check your picture to make sure you really got that, that really um, awesome score. All right. So um, have fun playing this, play it every day and every day get a little faster. You might want to like jot down some notes every day, like how, how many did you answer right and how fast did you do it um, just for um, uh, keeping track on your own. And then, um, You'll get better and better and better. All right. Um, Y'all work hard and we'll be seeing you in video and also our Zoom classroom. We want to meet with you guys again and um, hopefully you'll be submitting some videos and things like that too. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.